Oh, good morning, guys. It's time to go on our first adventure. Okay. There. Beautiful out. We went to the elevator and there was people in there, so it was a little bit awkward filming. So, yeah. So, this is our building. Oh, you can't really see it anymore. I'll show you when we get there, but. And then you come down here and over there's the pool. That's the pool area over, so I'll probably show you that later. Because we are going right now to do a couple of little things. And then it is a pool day and it's nice and warm, which means I'll get nice and tan. But today, oh, she is apparently getting sick. <laughs> um, <laughs> today we are going to go to a Goodwill. I know it's weird. Why are we going to go to a Goodwill on vacation? Well, even in our little town of Lehigh, people give away Disney stuff. So, especially in the middle of Orlando, there could be a lot of Disney stuff there. So, and old Disney stuff. So, I thought that we would go see what they possibly have and then we're also going to go to the outlet malls um i don't really care about the outlets that much i just want to go to the disney character warehouse because they have a lot of cheap stuff there which i think i've shown you guys before but i'm sure i'll show you today i didn't vlog very much after where did i end vlogging yesterday we like vlogged a little bit like of what the room looked like and then we didn't vlog for the rest of the night. Yeah, I didn't vlog for the rest of the night just because we we just wanted to relax and kind of be together. This is a special anniversary trip, so we went to I went to show her around, which obviously I'll show you guys afterwards. I went and I showed her around. Like I've said before, this this specific Hilton, um, my mom has Hilton Grand Vacation Club. She's an elite member. This one specifically next to SeaWorld has been like a second home to me. Like me and my parents would literally come down here like, I don't know, maybe four or five times a year or around that and we'd always stay here. So like I told Sarah yesterday, I can probably go around this entire resort with my eyes closed. Well, maybe not like the newer buildings over there, but like the main buildings over here, I can probably go around and know exactly where I am blind. So. It's like a second home to me. So it was really special coming here. And it's really cool being here again. So so last night we just kind of wanted to chill. We went, I showed her around. We went to the main lobby area where they have their movie theater. And I we got a DVD. We watched Into the Woods last night. And we played Phase 10. And then we just went to bed. It was just a great night. We got pizza and uh, cheese bread here. And it was just, it was a really good, calm, just, awesome night so today we are going to go to these couple of places and then come back and have a pool day look there's the lobby Ooh. can't see it that well but the lobby and then this is where we go out before when I was a child none of this was here this was just all woods no one really knew that this hotel was back here so that is extremely new so is that one and that garden inn is not that garden inn was always there but everything else around here was extremely new it was not here when i was a kid but i knew they were going to do something eventually but i love this hotel see seriously you walk down and you already see sea world signs you walk down from that's our hotel that's one of the buildings you walk down here and there's already sea world signs you turn right and then you walk maybe five ten minutes Know exactly where we are. Wow. And we're at SeaWorld. Such a Florida Parkway. I used to drive this way. A friend of mine lived in a motel. Like, they, they lived in a motel, honestly. Yeah. Well, like one of those rent by the week things. Yeah. And I used to drive him to work and he lived on Central Florida Parkway. And that's see? parking lot. Parking lot for SeaWorld. Well, the exit for SeaWorld. But see, SeaWorld's right there. SeaWorld there's a IHOP right there. IHOP. Oh, you can't really see it. Like right there. That's the IHOP that we went to and it was a Jerry Springer show and then we saw the rocket go off. Wow, that's all new. They put so much new stuff over here. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Well, we're close to the Orlando Eye, I believe. And look, Crimes. everything's under construction. Like they're changing it even wow. more. Wow. 
It's so crazy. There's some place right over here that has that has them a sign for massage. I miss Orlando. I really do. I love Lehigh and I love I love being uh, down there. Yeah, I love Lehigh. And <laughs> I love being close to the beach and being like being kind of out of the tourist area in a way, but I miss Orlando so much. Not too bad of a parking job. So we're now at the third stop. We went to Goodwill, which I did not film in just because it's Goodwill. Second stop was the first, well, was supposed to be this premium outlets, but there's two of them and we went to the other one accidentally. So we decided just to go in just to see what was what it was all about, which is the other Disney character going? warehouse to go this way to get into Ralph Lauren. Um, it was okay, but it was very, 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 very busy. So I didn't film just because I'm not dealing with people yelling because I'm filming. So now we're at this very busy one. Well, this one's not as busy. <laughs> Ooh, those are pretty. I like these. I like those too. Yeah. Still more hats. Oh, they have them over here too. Oh, look, these go with your your stitch. So, I'm not in the greatest moods anymore. This premium outlet was probably the worst that we've been to in a very long time. The people, there were so many people. Oh, you have walking. I do. That's why it says an hour and 46 oh, minutes. Holy shit. You have to go over here to a car. Um, it was like so extremely busy. People were so extremely rude. People, like, in this Disney outlet, it was so bad. Like, I actually found a couple of things that I would have gotten were just so rude. I just didn't, I didn't want to deal with it anymore. So we just left. And now we are on our way to Friendly's. I am so excited. Friendly's is kind of like a diner place, but it's mostly up, like, up north. Like, it was in Massachusetts and Connecticut and stuff. And I've never seen one down here, ever. I have not had Friendly's since I lived in Indi in Connecticut, which was probably around four or five years ago. So I'm really excited for this. So we're gonna go there, and it is 1.46 right now, and then we are going to go back to the hotel and swim and have fun and read and tan for the rest of the night, probably until like dinner time and then get something to eat yes get something to eat and then have a, a fun little board game movie night again so i'm excited you're gonna be going on where we turned here you're turning back left so i'm hoping to the rest of the day it can be good but today's stores are not the best things for me guys i don't think you know how excited i am to be at friendly Oh, you can't even see what it is. To be at Friendly's. This, everybody would probably say that this is like an eh, so-so kind of restaurant. It's nothing spectacular. But when I lived up in Connecticut, this was like the thing. Like everybody, I don't really know what we can say for it. Like everyone here goes to Ale House. Everyone up in Connecticut comes here. But Ale House is a little bit higher quality than this. But, oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Two meals oh, we that was so good. Just like I remembered it. We got the same thing, the Munchie Mania, like I always got. And then the, hun the honey barbecue. I never get honey barbecue. The, what is? It's honey barbecue. Oh, well, then I guess I never remember that it had honey. But the barbecue chicken super melt, oh, God. It was so good. We both got that. We both didn't finish it, so now we both have leftovers for tonight. <laughs> oh, so. Oh, so. Oh, so. Oh, so. Now, okay, so we were in the middle of the of eating. What is that? And she didn't even. What is what? You changed the menu. Oh, I didn't know I did that. I didn't. I don't remember doing that. 
I didn't touch that. But I changed her thing on her phone. <laughs> it's now her. Hey. <laughs> it was so funny. She didn't even notice. Very good food. We have enough leftovers for tonight. And we are going to go back to the hotel, change, and go swimming. So since we're going back to the room, we had to go down I drive. So I thought, you know what? Might as well film, because coming up soon is where I used to work. I don't know if you guys have been with me for this long, but I, me and Sarah used to actually live in Orlando, and I used to work at Wonderworks. If you don't know what that is, if you go down I drive, it is the upside down building. And I used to work, it's coming up. I used to work in Wonderworks, and I used to work in the fourth level, which is technically the basement, and it was the arcade level. Look, it's right here. Oh, I kind of miss it. Look, there's Underworks. I used to work there. And so you would go in the front. You would go in the front. And the, it, it would be... It would technically be the attic. And then you would go up four flights to the basement. So it's like... Since it's upside down, you're going up, but it's the basement, you know what I mean? And they had a 4D movie theater. It's actually really fun. If you like learning stuff and you have kids, it's really fun. But my level had the arcade, the rope course, the 4D laser tag, stuff like that. It was really fun. There are many times that I regret leaving there. But it's really cool. Am I turning through? Because this is the right way. Maybe I that right lane. Cool time. You look attractive. <laughs> She's wearing her new shirt. Look at the new shirt. Now go, go. Oh, it looks so dark. Ooh, there we go. First floor. Go to pool, go to pool. I want to sit next to the waterfall. Because I like that pool better. It's quieter. A lot of the kids go and play with the fountain. Sarah, why do you got to do this? Have a can. You're mean. I can see the reflection of the screen on your glasses. So now you can see what I see. I know. Wow. There used to be a fountain here. I miss the fountain. I don't like the trees. It looks bad. I like the fountain. Trees cost less money, plus maintenance. Oh, I'm sure. Because Hilton is really hurting for money. I'm sure they're not, but this gives them an opportunity to make even more money. That's what the real, pro the real I know. thing is. And can we talk about how we're going to go down there to, like, read and suntan and swim, right? And the book I have is called How May We Hate You. And it's about concierge service and how it sucks. But I'm reading it here when I want them to be wonderful. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh. How did they get in to even sit at the pool until 2 o'clock if they walked in? No, they were probably there before 11. Okay. And they just sat there. Pull, 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 pull. There's a hot tub. And then you go down to the pool. Cool with the, I know, with a waterfall. Well, it is pretty loud over there with the, I know, but it's loud with the waterfall. Yeah, we can do that. Let's do this first and then we can talk to somebody. And then Zilabe. There used to be a big water fountain right there too. But it's no longer there. She was able to get Anne's parking for 56. So hmm. it wouldn't be 80, it'd only be 20 bucks more than what the Um, okay, that one just wasn't working, I guess. David did. So we got our movies for tonight. Now on to, that's the other pool with the fountain, and then there's a big lake.
and the little pool bar right there. Oh, see, they're just doing tie-dye shirts. Yeah. Oh, let's get some towels. See right there, that's the hair wrapping. I would totally do it, but I'm an adult now, so that'd be a little weird. <laughs> But I used to do it all the time. You can ask my mom. Get a Towels. Okay. Hold on. Let me. I want three. How are you for those of us that aren't canning? <laughs> You know, when I was younger, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be an activities person at a hotel. Yeah, well, we make like minimum wage. I know, but that's what I wanted to do. I had a, an interview once to be an activities person at a hotel. Let's find a place to sit. Oh, and then that's a hot tub as well, right there. Yep. That's a hot tub. I like those. I like those like couches and stuff that they have now. They didn't have those before. I can take the one that's more in the shade. You can have one less in the shade. Of course. The minute that we hear fireworks and we run outside to see them while we're in the middle of our movie and playing a game, the fireworks end. There's, but this no, is our... it's still going on because I can see the light look, from it. That's SeaWorld over there. Okay. Oh, look! Fireworks! I knew it was still going on. I could see the lights from it. That's SeaWorld over there. I didn't know SeaWorld had fireworks. Did I. It looks like it's mostly flares. Yeah. But they do have some fireworks thrown in here. Some little tiny things. So cool, you can see them from here. Oh, and they have like, look. I think we're technically like, we're facing the way we would because I think that's the stadium. And they've got some sort of water show going on too. That's cool. That we can see the tops of. That's cool. But look, we have our whole little, all our stuff here. We had dinner here at the hotel tonight, playing phase 10 and watching Project Almanac. Oh, babe. Yeah.